Hi friends, welcome back to Frosty Eye Candy. And for all of those new people joining us for the first time, hi there, my name's Frosty. I greatly appreciate you watching my videos and I would appreciate it even more if you guys could press the like and the subscribe button because I'm trying to build my subscribers and trying to build this channel and the more support I can get, the better. So please, make an account with YouTube. It doesn't cost you a penny. It takes no time at all. The only information they want is your email address and then you'll be able to like, subscribe and comment on my videos. Anyway, I also have a Facebook account and also Instagram. So if you'd like to search and follow me on those, I'd be truly grateful. And on both those platforms, it's Frosty Eye Candy, just as it says shing, on the bottom of the screen. Okay, friends, now that's over with, thank you. We are going to go in with some colors. We know the pouring medium, we know the pillow paint, we know the cell activator. From the pictures at the beginning, I'm gonna run through these colors with you. So the first color you're gonna see me put down is this one. It's the Metallic Accents by rust -Oleum. And this one is the White Pearl, there we go. Now I put this down first on top of the white pillow, uh, then before my colors, just in case when I blow my colors out, because a lot of them are transparent. Uh, if we do see any pillow through the colors, at least it's gonna be a nice kind of pearlescent white sparkly pillow, rather than just a flat white satin finish. Okay, so that's going down first. Now on top of that, it is Nebula by this little piggy. Here's Nebula. And it's this beautiful kind of very really dark, dark, almost black pigment. It has beautiful green and blue shimmer to it. Trying to get the camera to pick it up, it's tricky. But yes, this one is going down next. Now, I've used this uh, palette once before in a video for a swipe, but I never actually used it for a bloom, so this is why we're using the same colors with the bloom to see how it comes out. The next paint we're putting down, and the next color we're putting down, it's PBO Studio Acrylics. And this one is the Iridescent Blue Black. Uh, and this one is, I'm guessing, either opaque or semi-opaque because it's uh, pretty heavily pigmented. Now, on top of that one, the blue-black, and by the way, the blue-black, as we know, we've discussed before, this isn't black. It's very much a dark grey, but it works really well in pores and blooms. So the next colour we're putting on top of that, it's this little piggy again, and this one is Glisten. And as you can see, Glisten is semi-transparent by the little line across the square there. And Glisten is an interference pigment. Now I've had lots of questions and I see lots of questions about what is an interference pigment. Well, as you can see, it's kind of white in the, uh, in the pot here. And when it dries, it's transparent, as it says here, semi-transparent. But you'll be able to see the color below it and it will give a green kind of sheen to that color. Uh, you won't be able to see it constantly all the time when you kind of get the piece at a 45 degree angle of the light that you're looking at it will flash this beautiful green color and really add some depth and dimension to our pores so that was glisten there we are so and that was that's what an interference pigment is an interference paint and next we're going to be putting this one down uh, favorite of ours this is the uh, thalo blue light by golden and this one is opaque as you can see by the little square filled in there. So the cell activator we're using today is the Shelly Art uh, Australian cell activator recipe. If you'd like to know what the Shelly Art recipe is, please follow the link on the bottom of the screen there. I have a 15% off discount code for her course and I highly recommend it. So our cell activator is going to be this color. This is Amsterdam Standard Acrylics and this is the Prussian Blue. Okay. So that's it my friends, thank you very much. We're gonna get on with the next part of the video and we're gonna to start to paint. So then, first thing I guess I should say is this is an eight inch square wooden cradle. And there we go, that is the Rust-Oleum metallic accents in the white pearl going down first. And the next one in the lineup is the beautiful Nebula by TLP Pigments. Gorgeous, almost black pigment with a lovely color shift to it. And we're being nice and generous with that one too. So the next color we're gonna put down there, my friends, it is the PBO Iridescent Blue Black. 
And as I've said before, and I'm sure we'll all agree, that doesn't look like black to me. It's a beautiful gray, but the blue iridescent flash we get from it is really quite spectacular in a pour or a swipe. So here's the next TLP going down. This is the TLP Plissen. Yeah, the interference green kind of blue shift to it. And I've had lots of questions about what are interference pigments. They are transparent paints. So that means you will be able to see the color of the paint below it, but it'll add a green flash. Now this one is the golden hard body. That's it, I'm trying to remember. And this is the phthalo light blue. And this is the opaque, opaque we put on the top. So now in with the cell activator friends, this is the Prussian blue, the Shelley art recipe of Australian Floetrol and Amsterdam paint. You can just see the cell activator is starting to halo around the edge. And in we go for the blow in the bloom. So as you can see, I blow down and away first to kind of spread the cell activator over the colors. And then I go around like this blowing it out further. I absolutely love this candy striping we've got at the bottom of the bloom. Oh, and a time lapse and there's the cells. So in for some modifications through that lovely candy striping. And I do hope we keep some of that. And if you remember from previous videos, friends, or if this is your first video you're joining us for, when we're doing these modifications, it's a nice, slow, rhythmical movement of the hand, like cursive handwriting. But yeah, I'm gonna say it again, I'm really loving the way the colors just laid over each other perfectly. And we had that beautiful candy striping there at the bottom. So in we go for the first spin. Leaving it in real time, guys. I've been doing this lately in my other videos, just so the beginners amongst us that are trying to learn from my videos can see how long and how fast I actually spin a piece for. I have, again, read lots of questions where people are asking, how fast should I spin? How slow should I spin? I'm covering myself in paint. <laughs> and the answer is slow and for a little while but everybody has their own preference. There are no right or wrongs to this art. But there we go for a nice circular close up there of the cells. And now we're going for the anti-clockwise spin. Again, in real time, because I want you to see how long and how fast I let the pieces spin for. I let them spin a little longer than usual because I enjoy it when the paint finds the edge of the cradle or the canvas and then we get beautiful cells wrapping over the edge. So here we are for another nice 360 pano. Look at those beautiful cells. Absolutely fantastic. Just checking it for movement. And if we do have some movement, you really are best to spin it again and get that excess paint off. It's very tempting to leave it on, but you can be fine but more often than not, in my experience, if you leave too much paint on, it will crack when it's drying. Wow. See, we see we managed to keep a little bit of that candy striping around the edge there. We've got some fantastic cells and that phthalo light blue is haloing those cells so lovely. So now we know that this color palette works rather well for a bloom as well. Also use just the right amount of pillow there and colors. We have minimal wastage of paint there. And in we go for a nice close up of those cells. Wow, look at the glisten and the PBO iridescent blue black glistening there, creating that lovely effect. Gorgeous. So my friends, Thank you so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe and share if you like what you see here and happy pouring.